what's up everyone this is Litz and welcome back to another video so in this video i'm gonna share some tips and tricks which you can use in the latest library mod in pubg mobile after this mod release in global version i played around 20 matches from that experience i will share you with some tips and tricks which will really helpful for you i personally didn't understand anything when i played in library mode for first time for me the surrounding in library mode is so messed up and it's really difficult to find out where the enemies are coming guys it's a, such a serious issue and this mod in pubg mobile seems to be inspired by call of duty's library mode if you already played call of duty you may know this mod however this library mode has some new rules and tactics and today i will give the complete information about it as i can with some tips and tricks which will really helpful for you if you didn't subscribe this channel consider subscribing guys and turn on the bell icon for getting notification as fast as i upload the video so guys before jumping the video i got 40 kills in tdm match in fvp mode it's really difficult match to win by standing alone against four opponents you can check out the video which will pop up right here so first to discuss about how to win the match in library mode to win the match you have to kill 18 people with the 18 different guns including the pistol and the pan at the beginning of the game you will get weapons like your today thompson and mp5k one problem with this mode is you cannot change the gun according to your wish. If you want to change the gun, you have to kill the opponent. The number of times you kill the enemy, your weapon will change. In the last of the game, when you kill more than 15 enemies, the weapon will change into snipers, shotguns, and pistol. After killing the enemy 17 times, you will get a pan. The pan is the game changer, guys, because the person who kills with the pan first is the winner and the opponent loses. If you know to use the pan properly, then it's bring victory to your team. I think these rules make this mod more challenging guys. So tip number 2 is to understand the game rules. Two teams will be fighting against each other in this mod. If a player from the team get 18 kills, then the team will be win. Also remember that a player can use only one gun at a time. You have to use every single gun to get kills. That means 18 kills with 18 different guns including pan and you don't have to worry about changing the gun. As soon as you get a kill, then it will immediately change into the next gun. I know there are many people who never use assault rifles like MK47 snipers and pistol. So to win the library mode, every player has to master these guns including a shotgun and pistol. Here I will show the list of the guns that will available in this mod. The best way to use these guns easily then practice with them in the training mode. So go to training mode and try every guns that you will never try it before. So coming to third point is don't go with your team. Yes guys, don't go with your team in this library mode and I will explain you why. Library mode is not like the other matches guys. If you go with your team to survey, you won't be able to get enough kills. So go and hide somewhere you run and attack when you see an enemy. So now I will show the areas which really helpful for me to get easy kills in the library mode. So our first hiding spot is a tunnel which is situated near to the statue. To enter to this tunnel simply crouch and move. This is my favorite hiding spot and the advantage of hiding at this spot is that you can clearly get the view from the two sides. Here you can see the enemies going. If you have a gun with you, you can kill them easily without revealing your position. Here you can see I'm going through the tunnel and there is an enemy at there. At that time don't try to kill him from there. Get out of the tunnel and wait for him to come out. And when he come out just kill him. That's the right way. And the another important thing is that don't expose yourself in the tunnel. Here you can see the enemy expose himself in the tunnel so that the opponent can kill him faster. Sometimes if you feel any difficulties to kill the enemy inside the tunnel, then get out of the tunnel fastly and wait for your chance to kill him. And if you saw an enemy in the tunnel then the important thing you need to do is the movement. Simply move in the different directions which will help you to oppose from the enemy. Here I attack the enemies in front of me, at that time another one killed me from the tunnel. Here you can see the position of the enemy. The enemy is sitting at the side of this tunnel. So now you don't go through the tunnel to kill him. Simply jump above the staircase and then move towards him to get the easy kill.
and the under hiding spot which is really helpful for me is below the staircase and the advantage is that at the left side you can see a small bookshelf so you will get a cover from left side and when you see an enemy you can easily kill him and many of them didn't find you while hiding below the staircase so use this hiding spot to get more kills in easy way if you like these hiding spots in the library mode then drop a like for this video and share this video with your pubg squad So coming to 4th point is stick with your teammates. Earlier I told you don't stick with your teammate. No, I'm not mad guys, but in some situation you need to stick with your teammate. As I already told you that in library mode you need to use heavy weapons. So after 12 to 15 kills you will get the MK47, AWM pistol and a pen. In such a situation many players would not be so comfortable with these guns. Yeah, it's really difficult to use snipers in close range. It's difficult for me too. So in that case stay with your team and wait for your chance to take the shot. Or otherwise your teammates can kill the enemies in your way and the enemy won't be able to kill you easily. It's a huge advantage for you guys. So last point, fifth point is spotting enemies. It's really easy to spot enemies in library mode as compared to the other arena modes in PUBG Mobile. In the classic matches, you know that when the enemy is near to you, then it show a orange mark in the map, as in the enemy's direction. Like that in the library mode too, it shows a red mark in the map according to the enemy's position, which is really helpful for you to spot the enemies faster in this mode. So wisely use this feature to spot and kill the enemies faster. So that's all for this video guys, I hope this video will be helpful for all of you. If you want to know more about these type of interesting PUBG related tips and tricks, subscribe to this channel and turn on the bell icon for getting notification as fast as I upload the video. So thanks for watching and take care guys.